hello um i hope you're all good lockdown week two two and a bit it started on a funny day didn't it so we're a week post house sale feeling a little bit more relaxed being able to finally crack on with some jobs on this house and it's been lovely to just have one thing to focus on even though there's loads of like bits and bobs that need doing so this week a lot of side work I've been doing the kitchen. I started that last weekend after we sold the house and I thought I'd show you how it's gone because it looks pretty different now. So I'll show you what I did and things we've been doing, painting the kitchen so far and then I'll show you where we're up to today. We've done all sorts, haven't we? And it looks a right mess. <laughs> all the cupboards are now ready to be painted. I've given them a quick sand. I'm not taking the vinyl off this time because it would have all it last time and I'm hoping it covers it a bit better than the MDF. It's not going to be creamy white for much longer. It's going to be grey. Barstools together. <laughs> it's French shoot paint, so I know you're supposed to do it really thin, so it's not gonna look good for a while. So, this is how it looks currently. It's changed quite a bit. Most of these areas now have had about four coats. I'm on my second tin of French sheet, which luckily, just there, I managed to get from a stockist that's local to us because I'd run out. This one is one that's not had for, I don't think the fridge in that I've had for. So it's looking pretty good. I think it's covered quite well. I think I might just go over it again, like maybe like bits like this. I think as you live with it, you notice bits that you've perhaps not covered as well. I've also changed those little handles so these are now just some chrome ones that i got they weren't particularly expensive we've also got these i had to get a big pack but we're only going to use about three um, but i might use them somewhere else um we've also got these to go on here instead so dan's going to do those for us this weekend i'd like to put one on the dishwasher over there but i don't know how to get the dishwasher thing off and i don't want to create another problem so we'll see how we go with that but other than the kitchen being a bit of a tatty mess at the minute i think it's looking pretty good i'm also going to get on to painting the tiles this weekend because they're like a creamy color which i don't actually think looks bad but i think white will set it off a bit better this is also going gray at some point over the weekend so i've been leaving this one because obviously it's new i'm a bit more scared about painting this and ruining it i'm just gonna go for it I'm not going to be a wuss. I think it will look nice once it's all one colour and look a bit more in keeping. So that's that. I'm going to do these ones here that are just looking a bit patchy and hopefully they can dry before we have tea and then it's all I'd like another coat ready for us doing some finishing off jobs. It is also Friday night so I might have some wine and get boozed up while I do it. <laughs> So I probably won't do much more this evening because I've got the Prosecco out. I've left the lid off the paint. Um, I think we're just going to have a good day of it tomorrow because we were supposed to be having a joiner to come. He can't get the parts and stuff because of Rona. I hate Rona. Um, so we're just going to have a good day on the kitchen tomorrow. Two new handles. Mr. Hotwell's got his drill. Hi, so I've just had a shower and got myself feeling all fresh for a Saturday evening because I just felt loppy after the amount of painting and stuff that we've done. I look about 200, but 
I'm just going to finish off doing the tiles. So I've cleaned them all. I've done like sugar soap twice. I've scrubbed them with a toothbrush and stuff between the grout. Hopefully the tile paint will go on fine. I'm just going white to freshen it all up. They're currently like a creamy colour. They don't look bad, but I think white will look nicer. So yeah, fingers crossed it all goes on fine. Um, welcome to the end of the vlog because the kitchen is done. I mean it's done as in part one and um, all the cupboards are done and things like that. I'm now wanting to get my work top sorted but the first sort of stage of it is done and I think it looks loads better. I'm pretty happy with it. So I'll show you how it's turned out and then I'm going to finish with our dining table which came this week which was so nice. I feel like it's made a massive difference. We feel like it's starting to feel like a home. So I'm going to finish there. I'll show you the table because I'm going to have a little sandwich there and chill out for the rest of Sunday. But yeah, the kitchen is done. So this is how it looks. It's all dark, all nice and neat. This unit, I think I did about three coats on that. It wasn't too bad actually. And I think it looks pretty smart. The tiles haven't turned out quite as good as what I'd hoped. It hasn't gone on very well. Um, and I'd need some more paint now because, yeah, it needs another couple of coats. But I think it's brightened it up a bit and makes it look a bit more clean. We've obviously got lots of little things to finish. But I think it's looking loads better and way neater. I've also popped out our new seat cushiony things from Cox and Cox. These chairs were gifted from Vero, which was really nice because they're perfect because they've got a bit of a back. I didn't want ones that were completely like stools, but it's difficult to get ones that will fit under with a bit of a back, and they do. So all in all, I think it's turned out all right. I love the colour. It's definitely the sort of colour I was wanting to go for. The next thing we're hoping to do is replace the floors. I know I do everything in the wrong order, but it's difficult, it's difficult to get it right. And I thought I'd be okay with the floors, but I think now we've had this floor done, it's just, yeah, it's bugging me, you know? And I'd love to get the worktops done. So I think the tiles will probably be a temporary job because I could get a worktop that's just like a little lip around the edge. Then I'd probably go for that because I think that will be better and nicer. But obviously taking off tiles makes a mess. We've also got like a really deep bit here in the window. So I think it would be nice to take it into the window and just have it all slick and looking beautiful, like all the edges of the tiles have sort of gone. I also want to get the worktop for here as well, so get them to do another piece, so that this little island would match, because somebody messaged me saying they'd done that. So I think that'd be really nice. I'll show you the dining table now, because I think that looks very nice. It's, yeah, I'm pretty chuffed with it. I wasn't sure what it was gonna be like, and I think it looks lovely, so I'm very happy. <laughs> So, dining table is finally in, which is so nice. As lights are a bit bright, we need to get different bulbs. The dining table is from Laradoo. It took quite a while to come. It was supposed to be five weeks. It ended up being about eight. They've also lost my bench, but I love the table, so I'm not going to moan too much. It wasn't that long away. And I do think it's very nice. It's just an oak table and it goes quite nice with the floor but without being too much match matchy like I feel like it works tonally. Chairs we ordered from Cult Furniture uh, literally a couple of days ago and they arrived in about 24 hours so I'm super pleased with those. I think they look really nice and they're actually comfy so I asked on Instagram if anyone had got these, if they thought they were comfy, if they were a pain. Quite a few people who'd not got them said they looked uncomfy but the people that had got them said they were comfy and I think they are so I think they suit the table really well 
um, and the bench should be here in about two or three weeks. I'm gonna finish that there. I'm gonna have a sandwich at my nice new table, which is lovely. I'll pop all the info below about like things we've used and stuff like that. The next jobs on the lockdown list are utility, which we need to just sort out and tidy up. Um, and downstairs loo, which I would love to get done. I'd love to do something like a little bit funky. I feel like people in downstairs loos tend to go a bit different just cause it's, it's just a downstairs loo, isn't it? So I think we might do something fun in there. If you would like to subscribe, that would be really nice. And I will see you all soon. Bye.